Welcome to the incomplete map of the cosmic genome. The basic idea behind this is to gather together an enormous number of scientists, science interested people, performers and writers to express their feelings about the universe and everything that lies within it. It's every time you look at the universe it surprises you. And you know when our kids, they get a cut. It's, it's like Wolverine. It's genes that are working to increase their numbers in the gene pool. It's part of the human condition, exploration. And he held it up so that I was looking at what had been a person, spinal cord drifting down there. It's because I've stood on a huge, like, stunt pyramid team of Ewoks. I can't imagine anything worse than knowing everything. Brian. I don't know why I started, actually. Both the scientists and the special topics will be updated month by month with new scientists, longer interviews, and the scientists you can currently see talking about other ideas. It is utterly wonderful. It's fascinating, it's thrilling, it's enthralling. It's an odd concept to have something that's not made of anything else that actually has mass. We found a link between blue-green algae and motor neuron disease. For me, the most important thing is, is that science no longer be ghettoized. And you've got a B in my GCSE physics. So why look at snails? It seems a bizarre thing to do. We don't look anything like wheat. We've just got some caterpillars. Now, maths has the advantage, I guess, as does science, but, you know, it's kind of along for the ride. A plus B equals C. Oh, hold on a second. What, what, what do you mean? That? What, what, what's the evidence? Are you saying that if so, loads of people, it's like a pop band, if loads of people like it, it's not as good as <laughs> A journalist wrote to me uh, the other week, and he actually said, he said, if science is so good, why do they keep having to change it? And yeah, I know. 